Hey guys, it is Monday here in West Virginia, so it's time for our Mopar Monday as usual. And we are back at Mr. Norm's this week. Last week we did a 124 scale unboxing of that Danbury Mint Pro Street 54 Plymouth, or 58 Plymouth, I should say. Um, so today we're back here at our regular Mopar spot, which is the 164 diorama of Mr. Norm's Grand Spalding Dodge from Chicago. And today we are doing an Auto World unboxing. We have three of their old release premium editions that are in the clamshell that came in the display case. But you don't see these at all anymore. This is when they had three different series. Um, nowadays they just have the one series. And at Target, you can find their baseline with the plastic wheels, but they're in two packs and four packs. Um, so, yeah, it used to be they had the plastic wheeled ones for like three bucks or four bucks each at Walmart. And they had the ones in the package with the cardboard box. And it uh, was about, or they were about five bucks each, something like that. And then they had these guys, which were the clamshell packages and they came with an acrylic display case instead of a collector box and they were about six or seven bucks each something like that so they used to do these on like road and track and then this uh hemmings muscle machines and then they did another one with like hemmings classic car so there were quite a few of them uh in these blister packs and such and we have three of them to unbox today for you and anyways, we're going to start with this purple Plum Crazy 70 Dodge Challenger RT. And this was when they were in the uh, July 2011 issue of Muscle Machines. And with these packages, what I usually do is I cut around the back with a box cutter. And then I flip it up but because these are so old the plastic is a little brittle and it cracked and broke but one thing that's unique about this package is that they double cardboarded this so there's actually two of those in there that i could actually take one out and then leave one in there uh how it should be so anyways let's get him out and take a look at him and what's cool about these in a way but then in a bad way they have the uh, PVC plastic holding them in place. They're not screwed down to the base like M2s or some of the Hotwell 100%s. But the bad thing about these uh, PVC plastic things that are on the car touching the paint, if they're in hot, humid conditions, they it can actually hurt the paint and start like paint rashing and it promotes things like that. But luckily, uh, this car was stored in a nice environment and it did not suffer any of these i had the orange one of this car in manila and it was stored there for a while and the paint started rashing on the side where the plastic was touching it so yeah that's the one thing i say is keep these in climate controlled areas if you're going to leave them packaged even if you open them i would still keep them in climate controlled areas because even loose if it is a uh, hot humid and such you will start seeing paint rash um develop on some of your cars but it's more if the plastic is touching it i guess the moisture gets trapped in there and causes the stuff to rash but anyways this is a very cool looking car it has the color-coded shaker which are usually gray or like uh or usually flat black or a graphite gray um, but this one is actually color matched to the car. It's also plum crazy. So that's actually pretty cool. And you open it up. He's got the Hemi in there. A full detailed engine compartment. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, guys. That way we can see these cars a little bit better. There we go. So nice detailed grill with double headlights and such. The open grill. So you know it's a 70. And then you have your Mopar rallies and white stripe, white top, black interior, nice detailed tail panel, and detailed gas cap, door handles, Challenger emblems, marker lights, and then it's metal to metal as usual. And the opening hood once again, 
pretty cool. So that is our first one. Moving along to the second one is from a different series. This is from the classic car uh, from Hemmings. And today we don't have a road and track to unbox, but we have both Hemmings. This is just of a basic 71 Dodge Dart Swinger. Nothing special. Uh, probably just a 318 car. Because there's no, uh, like, hood scoops. Nothing like that. And it has the white wall tires and such. So I'm going to say it's just a 318 car. Uh, but anyways... Um, this is from Classic Cars, and then I'm not sure which month it doesn't say. Does it? Yeah, September 2010. There it is. So this car was featured, but in a, like, yellow or butterscotch kind of color. Um, so on the back side, same thing, just gives you the lineup, and then tells you about Auto World and some of the other stuff they offer, like in 118 scale and such things like that. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, let's get him out and take a look at him and this one wasn't too brittle it didn't crack and fall apart yet so let's get that out of there and we'll get the display case for the challenger out of the way so here we have the 71 dodge dart swinger same thing held in by the pvc and we'll put the base down and then get the car out of there so, as you can see, just kind of a basic swinger. Has the side moldings, which usually the 340 cars wouldn't have the side molding. Has white wall tires, but it does have the rallies on it. Um, so, and then has the trim package all the way around. The wheel trim, the rocker trim, and such. And has a vinyl top. And this would be like a B5 blue, I would say. Um could be b7 but i think it's like b5 in my opinion so nice detail on the grill with the marker lights and such and let me zoom in a little bit on this guy that way we can see it a little better and then opening hood as i said just very basic probably the 318 once again and everything's correct like how mopar always had color coded um or color coordinated uh inner fenders and firewall they were all body color so very cool nice detail of the swinger emblems on the fender and nice detail of marker lights and such detail rear bumper with your tail lights and then they had the backup lights and such and just has a regular like vanity plate on it for Hemmings. So nothing spectacular to see here, but it's cool to have a basic A body at the dealership. So once again, let's zoom back out here. And then last but not least is a Plymouth B body. And this is from the Muscle Machine series once again. And this is a 73 Plymouth Roadrunner. These are getting hard to find. This is one of the more desirable ones. The counterpart to this is gray with a red stripe, which is pretty cool. But this one I like because it reminds me of Starsky and Hutch. And I was joking around on IG, posted a picture of this, and I said, if this Starsky and Hutch drove a real car, <laughs> this would have been what they had. So, uh, in my opinion, much better than the Torino, but that's just my two cents because you guys know I'm a Mopar guy. So let's get him out and take a look at him. And if you did want to see the real write-up on this car, this was from the September of 2009 issue of the Hemmings, Hemmings Muscle Machines. So here we are once again, acrylic display case, and take the dome off, drop the base, and then unfold it and get your car out. So <clears throat> once again, it's red with the white strobe stripe on it, which is really cool. And it looks like the hockey stripe from the Torino from Starsky and Hutch. But as I call these strobe stripes because they're broken on the top, that is pretty cool. And then you have your C stripe on the hood going around the scoop with the air intakes and such. And I think this is a 360 car. Um, it says here on the hood, let me just have to zoom in a little bit. 
No, it's a 400 car. So that's kind of cool. Uh, then you can see it has the Roadrunner badge on the header panel. So really cool model. You see the Roadrunner is in the stripe too. White letter tires, Mopar rallies, detailed marker lights, detailed door handles. Detailed front grill area with headlights. Detailed bumperettes, detailed. And then this does have the opening hood too with detailed engine. They even went with the down to the dual snorkel air cleaner painted orange with the engine in blue to kind of break it up and give you a lot of detail there that is very nicely done so moving along to the back side detailed tail lights and rear bumper with the bumperettes and such yeah, sorry it's having that focusing thing issue it always does over here i think it's because of the way i hold my hand and you can see the vanity plate says muscle machines from Hemmings, and it has Plymouth across the rear bumper there. It even has a detailed tell, uh, trunk lock and the Roadrunner badge on the passenger corner. So very cool car. Uh, so we'll park him down here at the dealership and we'll zoom in on those three to close out. So that's it for our Mopar Monday, guys. We'll be back again on Wednesday uh, not sure yet what we're going to be doing for Wednesday, either Wagon Wednesday or something else. Uh, but we will do a video on Wednesday for you, some kind of unboxing or kind of showcase. So make sure you tune back in Wednesday, and we appreciate you watching. Enjoy the first part of your week.